Israel on the road to a laser revolution from Iron Dome to Iron Beam. The defense of its skies is much more urgent for Israel than, for example, for the United States. The explanation is simple. Israel is a tiny state and its territory is not a defense in itself. If we hypothetically imagine that a missile is fired from the border of Mexico at Washington, it would have to travel at least 1,510 miles to reach its target. And the country's missile defenses have time to repel the attack. In the case of an Iranian missile attack on Jerusalem, the distance the missile needs to travel is only 640 miles. And if the attack is launched from the Gaza Strip, it's a ridiculous 45 miles. Therefore, Israel has one of the most powerful and echeloned missile defense systems in the world. HETS to intercept long-range missiles, David's staff for medium-range missiles, and the famous Iron Dome for short-range missiles. But the weapons are rapidly improving, and soon even this may not be enough. What is Israel's answer to today's challenges? It's a combat laser beam. Israel has long thought about using laser weapons to defend its skies. Back in 1976, the country tested a gas dynamic laser with a power of about 10 kilowatts, and it came to the disappointing conclusion that a combat laser with sufficient characteristics would be created only in the distant future and only under favorable circumstances. But the proud little nation, despite such disappointing conclusions, did not give up on the idea and continued to work on it. Why does Israel need a laser anti-missile and anti-aircraft system so badly? I mean, they have the same very effective Iron Dome, which shoots down over 90% of all targets. But there is a problem, and it's not solved by missile technology. Yes, Iron Dome is perfect, but that's also its flaw. Protection means high cost. One launch of a missile of this complex costs up to $150,000. And its target is a primitive missile, Qasem, which is assembled almost on their knees in garages and costs a couple hundred dollars. For example, Arab terrorists have assembled a hundred Qasims at a ridiculous cost of $20,000. But to destroy them, Israel has to spend $15 million. And if it's necessary to destroy a thousand Qasims, for example, during the fighting between Israel and Hamas in 2021, the Arabs fired more than 4,300 rockets. Calculate how much it costs Israel to defend itself against them. No economy could withstand it. And military analysts warn that in the event of a serious conflict, 1,500 rockets a day would be fired at Israel. The Iron Dome will clearly not be able to cope with such a load, and the entire stockpile of rockets would be exhausted. The second vulnerability is the limited supply of missiles. The standard Iron Dome battery consists of three launchers with 20 Tamir missiles each. After they're used up, they need to be reloaded. And at that time, the sector of the sky it covers becomes unprotected. The laser missile defense system is devoid of these two fundamental disadvantages. The cost of one pulse of a laser beam, taking into account all the cost of equipment, does not exceed $2,000. That's 75 times less than the cost of a Tamir launch. And the laser can fire for as long as you want, as long as you have electricity, and no reloading. We said above that the Israelis have persistently developed laser weapons, despite the enormous technical difficulties. For them, this is truly a matter of life and death. And so on April 15, 2022, then-Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett announced the successful test of the new Iron Beam laser system for intercepting aerial targets. Israel has successfully tested the new Iron Beam laser interception system. It's the world's first energy weapon system that uses a laser to shoot down UAVs, rockets, and mortar shells at a cost of only $3.50 per shot. It may seem like science fiction, but it's real, tweeted the politician. The system was developed by the state-owned Israeli company Rafael Advanced Defense Systems. By the way, it also previously developed the famous Iron Dome. Subsequently, technical details of the laser anti-missile system Iron Beam became known. Its structural unit is a mobile battery which consists of an air defense radar, a control unit, and two high-energy lasers. The power of the laser guns is 100 to 150 kilowatts. Iron Beam has an effective range of up to 4.3 miles and can destroy a missile, UAV, or mortar shell in about 4 seconds. Although Naftali Bennett cited the cost per shot of the Iron Beam at $3.50, that's just the cost of energy. If you factor in maintenance and amortization, the cost ages, as we said above, to $2,000. The Israeli army is going to start operating Iron Beam in 2024. In the meantime, the Iron Beam laser combat system was demonstrated in Singapore at the MDEX Asia 2023 exhibition in early May this year. 
There it was revealed that Rafael has developed two models of Iron Beam, a land-based and a ship-based model. The land-based version is mounted on wheeled vehicles and has a laser power of up to 500 kilowatts. The ship version is designed to protect naval targets from air attacks and has a lower laser power up to 100 kilowatts. Therefore, when it was written about the power of 100 to 150 kilowatts, it was obviously talking about the naval modification. Rafael published a video showing successful tests of the land-based version of Iron Beam which took place a year ago. The footage shows the laser hitting the drone and the missile's warhead. Note that if the 500 kilowatt figure is correct, it means that Israel has become the leading country in the world in the development of laser weapons. After all, the US is still talking about a laser power of 300 kilowatts. And traditionally, little is known about the level of achievements in the field in Russia and China, but these countries at least have not declared about 500 kilowatts. Israel is also developing two more laser combat systems. The first is designed to be mounted on a truck or APC. It should provide protection of units within a radius of 3 to 4 kilometers from mortar and rocket fire and from unmanned aircraft. The second system is intended for installation on Hercules-type transport aircraft and is designed to intercept missiles above the cloud line. Its testing is scheduled for 2024. It's reported that the laser can work in any meteorological conditions, that is, neither clouds nor fog is a hindrance. So far, the destruction of a drone has occurred from a distance of 1 kilometer, but Israeli specialists promised to increase this distance by 20 times. The media reported that the Israeli laser would be able to intercept hypersonic missiles, but this unfortunately is not true. For a laser beam with a speed of more than 186,000 miles per second to hit a missile flying at a speed of even Mach 20, i.e. 4 miles per second, is not very difficult. To it, it's a virtually stationary target no matter how that target maneuvers. But it's not enough to hit, you have to destroy the missile and that's a big problem. Hypersonic missiles are subjected to strong aerodynamic heating. That's why they have heavy thermal protection. This is not a fragile drone or a Qasem rocket. Even a 500 kilowatt laser can't burn through the hull of a hypersonic missile in a few seconds, not even at close range. As mentioned above, Iron Beam works at a distance of up to 4.3 kilometers and destroys a missile or drone in 3 to 4 seconds, but the same distance a hypersonic missile will fly in 1 to 2 seconds. It's not possible to burn the homing head of a hypersonic missile with a laser beam for the reason that such a missile does not have it. It has only an inertial guidance system with GPS correction. By the way, this is the same scheme that the Kimmers missiles have. Israel understands this perfectly well. Therefore, in order to protect against hypersonic missiles that Iran may have, and about the successful tests of which it's already announced, the Israelis are developing a special missile defense system. And a month ago, on June 21st this year, the same company, Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, announced the creation of a system capable of shooting down hypersonic missiles. The novelty was named Skysonic and will be presented at the International Aerospace Exhibition in Le Bourget. According to the media, it includes not just hypersonic anti-missiles, but also a system that tracks the maneuvers of enemy missiles at hypersonics. But we'll talk about this unique system in detail in another video. And today, our story about Israel's laser weapons will end with a pleasant message, which was made by a high-ranking official of the Israeli Defense Ministry, Brigadier General Danny Gold. He said that Israeli leaders are capable of shooting down kamikaze drones that Iran is sending to Russia for use in the war against Ukraine. We've done the same for mortars, missiles, and drones. Are Iranian UAVs being sent to Ukraine? It's the same concept. We could shoot them down too, the general said. Of course, transferring such weapons to Ukraine sounds like a fantasy, especially given Israel's refusal to supply any weapons to the conflict zone. But how many times in this war has fantasy become reality? The most modern NATO tanks are already fighting in Ukraine. The sky is protected by the most modern NATO systems. The most fantastic thing is that Ukraine has been fighting for more than 500 days, although many experts predicted that it would lose in one or two weeks. So why not another fantastic thing? Israeli lasers on the defense of Ukrainian skies. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. It would be the best reward for us. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. There will be many more interesting videos about modern weapon systems.